Hello friends, I am Dr. Aisha. Let's discuss an interesting clinical scenario. A 35-year-old male who was a tabla player had a road traffic accident. He was brought to an emergency where his airway, breathing and circulation was secured. But on recovery, he was not able to play tabla as before. And on clinical examination, he was not able to perform rapid alternating movement of his hand. So over here, you can see that the patient was not able to do rapid supination and pronation. And on finger nose test, he was overshooting examiner's finger. So what do you think he is suffering from? He is suffering from? Cerebellar lesion, yeah. So let's discuss various clinical signs of cerebellar lesion. Starting with intention tremors. These tremors occurs when patient attempts to do some work. Okay. Our cerebellum is like the brake and gear of a car. It makes the movement smooth like the gear of a car. And it also gives on and off signals to muscles like the brake of a car. This helps in precise movements. In cerebellar lesion, jerky movements are produced, causing intention tremors. One more tremor you should know is the reward restring tremors. Remember guys, restring tremors, these tremors are seen at rest and these tremors are seen in Parkinson disease, okay? In Parkinson disease, you will get resting tremors, while intention tremors are seen in cerebellar lesion. Okay, so over here you can see that the patient is at rest, still he is having tremors. Such tremors are resting tremors. Okay, now next clinical sign of cerebellar lesion is dysdiadocokinesia, where patient is having difficulty in performing alternating movements, performing rapid alternating movements like supination and pronation. Cerebellum is involved in timing of sequential movements like turning of pages in a book. This coordination is lost in cerebellar lesion leading to dysdiadocokinesia. Next clinical sign is dysarthria. What is dysarthria? It is nothing but defect in speech, which is due to incoordination of muscles involved in speech. Incoordination of muscles involved in speech leading to dysarthria. And this speech is having a special name that is scanning speech. Write it down scanning speech. Okay, and in scanning speech, Okay, here the patient breaks every word and articulate them. So if I ask the patient of cerebellar lesion to say cerebellum, he will say like this. Cerebellum. Cerebellum. So over here you can see that the patient is breaking up every word and articulating them. Okay. That is your scanning speech. Then next clinical sign is ataxia where there is incoordination of the muscle movement during walking. Is your ataxia is again a clinical sign of cerebellar lesion. Then next clinical sign is past pointing which is dysmetria. Here the patient is having difficulty in controlling the range of motion. During any movement your cerebellum gives stop signal to your muscles. For example, when football player kicks for a goal, his cerebellum decides how much movement and force has to be used while kicking the football. In cerebellar lesion, the subconscious motor control system cannot predict how far movement will go. So the movements overshoot the goal causing past pointing. Then next is hypotonia. So, how to check for hypotonia? If you passively move the limbs of patient at different joints, then no resistance is felt. 
deep nuclei in cerebellum sends excitatory signals to motor cortex and brain stem motor nuclei loss of deep cerebellar nuclei leads to loss of excitatory signals which causes decreased tone of muscles on the same side of cerebellar lesion the next is pendular nature as we have discussed cerebellum gives on and off signal like the brake of a car so in cerebellar lesion when you perform knee jerk the leg of a patient will keep moving like a pendulum next is rebound phenomenon if you remove the opposing force suddenly then the patient is having difficulty in stopping the extremity movements then next is nystagmus is again a clinical sign so in this cerebellar lesion patient if you ask the patient to just look at one point okay to just fix the eyeball at one point then you will see the jerky eyeball movement which is nothing but your nystagmus as our tabla player was having dysdidocokinesia and past pointing we suspected cerebellar dysfunction in him so to summarize all clinical signs of cerebellar lesion it is past pointing pendular knee jerk ataxia nystagmus dysdidocokinesia articulation problem which is dysarthria scanning speech hypotonia intention tremors these all are clinical signs of cerebellar lesion which is very 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 important for your final year exam for your pg entrance exam for your practical also so you should know all these cerebellar lesion clinical signs okay so guys i have made a very nice mnemonic for you panda says hi okay where p is for past pointing pendular knee jerk okay a is for ataxia n is for nystagmus d is for dysdidocokinesia a is for articulation problem that is dysarthria so this panda is over now says hi s is for scanning speech h is for hypotonia i is for intention tremors this is how now you will remember all clinical signs of cerebellar lesion okay panda says hi